Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tainted Grail Conquest. Uh, just out of early access, just a couple days ago, when we checking this out. It is kind of a hybrid mix of RPG and deck building, which are both kind of a couple of my favorite things. Uh, yeah. Kind of surprising I hadn't heard about this one before, but there is a lot of stuff in early access. It's also kind of nice now to check it when it's already done. Uh, yeah, because sometimes early access, by the time you get to release, you're like, yeah, I don't care anymore, so... Alright, let's pop in. It's a bit of a roguelike as well, which is also my favorite thing. So we got characters. Alright, let's see what we got. Doesn't look like a ton of character modeling, we'll see. And we've got... Alright. Ooh, do I got... Oh! Not bad hair. Not horrible. Is that... Oh, I don't... Oh, man, this is gonna turn into Harris video. Uh... Nah, I like that one better. Alright, uh... Hair color. Um... There we go. Alright, and what do we got? Tattoos. Oh, that's... that's horrifying. That's also horrifying. These are all kinds of horrifying. Uh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. Your customers will unlock that to tutorial. All right, sounds good. It's a rogue light game. Be infinitely replayable, which is always good. I always enjoy kind of a rogue light. For runs, and each run will be a different adventure. Okay, so maybe I don't know if a little bit of random generation, but we'll see. The more you play, the more content you will unlock. Okay, but a little bit of some stuff will be saved King throughout Arthur the runs. Promised us safety on these shores. Instead, we found stormy seas, rocks like shark teeth, and treacherous mists. Those few who managed to land will be set by hunger, cold and nightmares born of weirdness. My people settled around a gnarled old statue. Though we did not understand its origin or purpose, the enemy seemed to avoid it. That was good enough for a time. In the end, the winds of weirdness only grew stronger and the statue failed to protect the settlement. There was fear, despair, and then... nothingness, as reality melted around us. You awake to nothingness. All you can sense is darkness. A dense mass of emptiness so total that even your thoughts disintegrate. Then you hear whistling. An eternity seems to pass before something materializes in the darkness with you. Something angry. Damn it, you weren't supposed to land here. Damn it all to hell. The creature pauses for a moment, clearly weighing up some options. He taps a finger against one of his horns. Now, listen, there's a lot to do and no time to waste. What can... Perfect. You can speak and yes, these are really great questions. No easy answers, though. Sorry to disappoint. Oh, now, fair enough. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? Brace yourself, because what I'm going to tell you is rather important. You're gone. Your village is gone. Everything you've ever known is gone. Yes, everything and everyone, including your very own self, as I mentioned already, however. The creature taps two hooves together, marking a dramatic pause. There is a small chance, an infinitesimally tiny chance, really, to bring it all back. Okay, so we're pulling a loop hero. You were saved from death in order to keep your reality from falling apart. 
but, well, it's not going to be easy. First, we must ensure that you're in good enough condition to actually do anything. Which brings us to the problematic part. Your body. You squint down at your feet and hands in the darkness. They seem perfectly fine. Oh no. Oh, goodness me, no. That's just an illusion. I had to get you here somehow, didn't I? Otherwise, you'd start talking about the afterlife and whatnot. And this, my friend, is not an afterlife. This is a total mess. But let's see what we can do. Here, this little trick should get us started at least. Okay, so I do believe it has nine classes, I want to say. Yeah, it does have nine distinct classes. Okay, so what do we got? Oh, we got to unlock it, though. I do prefer that. I don't have it all right away. Okay, so we're the Weird Hunter. Get much damage as possible using quick strikes to powerful blows. Okay, so yeah, that's the one class. Easy peasy, then. All right. Children of Morgan. Base hit points 100. Base damage 8 to 12. But damage possible using quick strikes, powerful blows. Got it. Oh, we have an ultimate as well. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Every hit you deal is 100 mark. 400 marks makes enemies vulnerable. All right. Well, it seems your soul isn't strong enough to be picky about its vessel yet. Don't worry. You'll grow. Now, we need to see whether my little trick actually worked. The goat weaves his fingers in an intricate series of gestures. With a final flourish, he conjures a terrifying creature into the emptiness. Aha, here we go. This is a powerful Avalonian warlock. But don't worry, he's not really here. Not in the truest sense. Your goal here is simple. Fight. Show me that you've got what it takes. A pretty great intro so far, I gotta say. It's not bad. All right, so we do have our deck. We have... Oh, he's a he's a big one. From their attacks, buff itself and occasionally summons minions to its side. Well, I feel like we could have started a little less. We can draw eight, discard. Base damage, but no armor. All right, so we got to pick a card. Well, let's just go for one and then a hers mark. Also, can I use all the cards in my hand? I have enough energy for three, so all right. And then block. And turn. One of them will tell what they want, what they do want to do in their turn. I mean, it gives me a. Then we will attack with two hits. One block will protect you from only one hit. Uh, it's done actually. Ah, I could attack. And then stun. There you go. He tends to use a normal attack. Okay, so I got a black attack. Okay, so we have four hunter's marks. So now he is vulnerable. And that's going to do a lot more damage. I'm going to get a block. Okay, then he's got special attack. Well, three hits for four to six to. I feel like he might summon some minions. Uh, so, get a little bit of a block. And to use a strong attack. That is wow. I uh, can't really block either. Class has an ultimate ability. It's charged by a specific accent. Check out how to charge it and use it often. Okay. Okay. 
That's gonna hurt a bit. Oof. Between life and death. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, we actually do have... Okay, so... Can I actually use that? Or no. Yeah, use. Okay, right click. There we go. We'll save just a little bit. Tend to use... Okay, so let's use a regular attack. Block. Another block. Alright, blocked it all. Tends to buff. Well, I think we just go with attacks then. Okay, two times 20. Okay, so his armor is buffed as well. Or by 10 till the end of combat. Okay. He's got his armor increased till 10. Well, I think actually, since that's going to go away anyway, let's see if I can do that to even less armor. Also, it's negative 10. Oh, shoot. I was going to block one at least. That was a mistake. I got a little cocky. And to use a strong attack. Okay, so. Hit. Hit. And a stun. Oh, that takes two energy. I have made many mistakes by not paying attention. Oh, God. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I just made some mistakes. Small strikes would have been good there. Okay. It's gonna attack. Oh, you should use two on this. And then we'll get a block. Oh, oh God, we died in the tutorial. Well. I should have seen that coming. It was optimistic of me to expect you to beat it on your first try. But don't worry. Like I said, I'm pretty sure we were supposed to lose, but I like to try. To a very special place now. It's a mirror of your reality, located in an endless loop between life and death. You won't die there, but nothing's really alive there either. You'll wake up in a place resembling your own village. You'll find a man there whose task it is to help you on your journey. Your main objective for now will be to push onwards, survive, kill the four guardians. Then we'll talk. Yeah, wait, what did happen though? Listen, it's been four years since humans landed on these shores. Four years of strife, fear and hunger. At least that's what you tell yourselves. And four years of war you were destined to lose because even the mightiest human wizards are no match for the Avalonians. Seeing your expression, it makes an impatient grimace, stepping from one foot to the other. The war you brought here? Well, it wasn't exactly going in your favor. But then that wizard, Merlin? Well, he had an idea. Your king, Arthur, he had another brilliant idea. Both stubborn mules, both playing with powers they didn't understand and were never meant to understand. And so we're here, in this corrupted reality, strung together with the last strand of somebody's goodwill. Okay, so, yeah, pretty foobar. Fantastic artwork as well. A lot of uh, 
Arthurian lore games coming out later, and I kind of love it. A lot of King Arthur in that era in Avalon, and it's just nice to see. Okay, so I can use... Oh, we're actually walking around. Okay. Where your hometown once was, a lone man sits among the remains. He doesn't notice you. Only when you walk right up to him, he turns his blank stare toward you. It's not my farmhold, is it? I'm from up north, the land of fog. I... I don't know what happened. At least that's one thing you have in common. A creature that looked like a goat told me I'd wake up in a strange place, and that I'd find someone in need of my help there. The man looks at you for a moment. I've already made some preparations and settled in one of the tents here. I can't offer you much at the moment, though. This place is... different. But you? I've seen an enormous creature out there. A column of stone. The evil energy it emits is beyond anything I've ever felt. I'd say getting rid of that beast would be a good start. Okay, so yeah, we've got the first guardian, it would sound like. Uh, it's stone golem. Alright, we got zoom in and out. Yeah, that is not my color hair, though. Well, maybe it is. It's tough to tell with the lighting. Right now, this building is an abandoned ruin. However, during your travels, you might find someone who'd be willing to settle in here and help you with your quest. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm quite enjoying this quite a bit already. Right now, this... Okay, this is also... Right now, this building... Uh, uh, nobody's here. I Who are you anyway? Don't remember, and I don't know what I'm doing here, or how I got here. All I know is I'm supposed to be helping you with your quest. All I know for now is that you need to find the rest of the people who are supposed to join us and help them out in their troubles. I don't know. Maybe it will come back? Maybe there's something that could trigger my memories. That's a request for that. So you can do healing and upgrades. Oh, I could get a healing mixture, but I don't know what we're going to need our money for yet. So let's... Yeah, let's not do that. Let's just save. Make a quest card. Okay. This is kind of our hub. Can't go out that door yet, so I think we got to go through the first one. Right now, this... Yeah, this is... Yep, right now. Right now, yes. Got it, so... Interesting statue as well. Alright, but let's go out and get this golem, I suppose. Oh, and I have no body. Good. I caught you before you went out, all on your lonesome... Our mutual friend already told you to slay the stone golem. Perfect. The golem is just a start, though. Even if you do manage to kill it, the further you go, the more dangerous the road will become. And since we're talking roads, you're walking within the weirdness now, and it's dangerous. Take these candles, light them up, and try not to let this damned fog close around you. Got it? Oh. And before you face the golem, look around the area. There's a blacksmith nearby who might be willing to join your village. Finding people like him will be crucial for your survival. Each one will be helpful in a different way. And with that, I'm out. Good luck. A new quest, the anvil. Alright, so we got one. I don't know how long these are gonna last. And the blacksmith, I think he's I'm hoping he's this way. Oh lord, okay, well. Just saw that, that's this is gonna go fine. Okay, so you've got normal attack with debuff.
Okay, yeah, let's go. That'd be three hits, and that would get vulnerable after that. Let's go. One, two, and then block. Got a wood card. Force of witness to insert themselves in your hand. Effects depend on your wood card's burn level. Candle's burn level. Oh, so I have to do it, otherwise bad things can happen. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, I guess I will. I will use that at the end. Let's see one. Another attack. And then I'm a stun. Oh, I'm loving this. I gotta say. Okay, you got one more attack. Let's keep reducing your armor. Uh, maybe let's do broad rejects instead. Next hit does 100... Plus 100% damage. Maintain, and then we'll go for a block. We got this easy peasy. All right. And easy peasy. All right, we got nine, ten wealth. Level up to two. Okay, so pick a new card. Deal one hit for 100% damage and draw one card. Deal two hits for 100% damage, cleave. That's two, you can take two energy though. Um, I kind of do like the idea of quick attack though. All right, so pick a new passive skill. Increase your armor by 25. Ooh, percent in combat deals double damage. Ooh, increase your armor by 10 this turn. That's... Ooh. Gotta be honest, I, I really think these are all pretty good. Not a bad opening, but offensive seems... Oh, yeah, that's... I wonder if that stacks. We'll have to see. We'll, we'll go for that. First time, no bad answers. Let's see, keep it on. There's some interesting visuals here. Oh. Saw him, but what can you do, eh? Oh! Better to use another one. Okay, so we're doing the darkest dungeon kind of thing. Got it! Okay. Alright, so what do you got going? It's a debuff. It tends to heal. It tends to summon ally. Oh, so I'm gonna have to do this one first. Okay, so their damage is down. It's a debuff. You're going to heal. Uh, I might go. Let's go one attack and then actually we could go and then do the small sprites for that. I'm gonna try it. Alright, not horrible. Alright, he has summoned a totem. At the start of each turn. So already my armor is already. Ooh. Okay. It's also. Alright. So you're gonna do some damage. You're gonna do some damage. Oh, he gave me an obsolete card. 
All right, um. Uh... Can't really focus fire, can we? Uh, let's hit for once. Well, I also feel like getting you out would be a good idea. Get my armor back a little least, and uh. Gonna block. Let's block some of this. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I didn't have enough cards. Yeah, I'm gonna stun you. I maybe thought about stunning you. actually all we got for the moment oh and now my armor is minus 50 oh this is already harsh okie dokie I feel like this is a bit much for our first all right hmm plan to attack and debuff again Really gotta get the healer out, that's the problem. Alright, let's just keep... And then go for one block. So we got deal one hit for 16 to 24. Okay, nice. I think really we should just really try to murder you. That could, maybe. I don't have a block anyway, so you know, it's... This is not gonna be enough. Oh, crit, though. Very nice. I still got one left, so... Yeah, let's just go with that. Yes, nice. Alright, we're pulling this off. I'm gonna summon another one. Let's do that. Uh, let's look at the randoms. And that's gonna be a good block anyway. Or I could just... I don't have enough energy, that's why. Okay, there we go. He's got two totems. Oh, this guy. I think you need to go next, man. Uh... That should actually... Oh, yeah. Totally murder you. Nice. And that also got rid of the totems. Oh, perfecto. That ultimate is nice. Uh, I might just... Use. There we go. Thank you. Now this should be pretty easy. Gotcha. Very nice. Uh, 
take your armor down a bit, and you're going to try to hit me next time, so... You know what? Why don't we just... Oh, that takes two anyway. Yeah, it's not going well for you, pal. You you had a good hit there for a while. I'll admit. You're going to try to give me a debuff anyway. I'll just keep chipping away at you. And every time it's it's 10 plus armor, so it's that's really nice. Give me another card. Not really, he's just annoying me at this point. He's and you're dead. All right. Not bad. Oh, level three. Excellent. Go check our cards. Now we've got Blood Frenzy. Deal one hit for 250 damage to all enemies. We'll take off five hit points. Deal one hit for 100% damage. Duplicate the next card played. Block the next hit of a chosen enemy. Uh, I gotta say, Blood Frenzy. Well, my kind of jam. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Health is doing okay. Now yeah, we're all right. I think that's the blacksmith. All right. Um, I'm gonna use one more word candle just to. Did that make that less painful? All right, let's go. Oh, great googly moogly, I am terrified. What is that? You're gonna buff. You're an attack to everybody on the battlefield and buff. And you're preparing for a special attack. Stuns all enemies for two turns. Well then. And that, oh, you're immune though. Well, all right. Offer five hit points. Yes, for the blood god. And I mean, I did as good as I could, so my turn again. I could probably get you down before. He's immune to stun, so just do it. Four to six. It's not gonna get him. Ah, uh, unless it crits or something. Wanna go for it? Yeah, I got him. All right, I've got him. Okay. He should be unstunned next time. And you've got. Been hard to see. There we go get a little bit more this way. Okay. You're gonna attack everyone in the battlefield and buff. You're gonna buff. Uh, let's see. Do small strikes. Let's do a lot of random. Maybe we'll stack our passive. Alright, our armor's up to 60, which is just lovely. For another hit to yeah, it's good about getting you out first. All right, nice. Twenty thirty hit points to all enemies and off for five H. Blood for the blood god. I just took off his barrier. Okay, uh, that actually took all I was gonna block, but yeah, forgot about that. Did one hit for 
Nice. So not quite level four, but got some money. Very nice. A song breaks through the slithering of the weirdness. I have no hope, no home, no gold. Mine is but misty morning cold. Not long afterwards, you come upon a man wearing a blacksmith's apron. Oi, traveler. Want to buy a good anvil? Tis all I have, I'm afraid. Me home, you see, went poof. One minute there, next minute gone. I found myself here, with this lump of iron for company. I swear to gods it started talking to me not long ago. Okay, crazy person, but... Oh, no. I left that life behind quite a while ago. All I'm interested in these days are rune stones. Yes, containers for the magic of giants. Even though you'll usually find them broken, they're extremely powerful. You can use them to enhance your weapons or armor. They will influence your abilities in different ways. Also, when you find three of the same kind and rarity, you'll be able to fuse them together. This will make them even more powerful. Here, let me give you some. You can try it later. I'd say that since you know what you're looking for, you should be able to find more of them out there. By the way... Okay, so you've actually... I feel like at this point you should be giving me stuff, but uh, alright. Well, we got about 140. I, I feel like maybe I could buy one. It's 75. I'll try to crack, uh, crack tier. Okay. Yeah, you want to come to my village? You want me in your village? Well, you must first prove you can take care of yourself. Kill ten bears and... Oh, hell no. Just fooling for pity's sake. What would I need ten bears for? Show me the way. All right. At the blacksmith. I wonder if we should keep on keeping on or head back to the... I might head back to the village. There's a florist. Wandering around, you notice that the plants on the ground around you are more like muscle tissue than typical vegetation. Then you notice an old man smiling at you in a disturbingly friendly manner. He's sitting near an enormous pool of blood and stacks of fancy bouquets made of body parts. Hands, hearts, testicles, arms, all held together by an unknown power, form the shape of a sunflower. I should not the have horrified stopped. Horrified eyes pass over baubles made of kidneys and macabre flowers tied neatly with intestine ribbons. Come, don't be afraid. I suppose some might consider my shop rather extravagant. Oh, but trust me, you won't find anything quite like my bouquets in these woods. I I believe you. So, what do you have for me today? He notices a question forming on your lips. Oh, a pity. I thought you came here with my delivery. Well, that's an inconvenience. Anyway, you can still take a look at my wares. I guess I will because I'm terrified of you. Okay, gain 50 armor, gain 40 barrier. Ooh, 50 armor this turn. A little bit additional hit points. Ah, uh, we'll get some more armor. A splendid choice. I guarantee you won't regret it. These were preserved with care and the expertise of my years of experience, so they should last for quite a while. The man's joy quickly turns to sadness. 
With teary eyes, he continues. Yes, this bouquet would have been a perfect gift for a special lady. One that's dear to your heart. If only... I'm going to... I should not ask, but all right. He sobs for a while. Then, with a shaky voice, he explains. Bouquets have a purpose. They were invented for a reason. But that purpose has disappeared from this world. Nobody needs them anymore. Everyone says there are more important matters at hand. We just don't live in the right times for vanity and joy. And that's what bouquets are all about. Right? He tries to collect himself. But I won't give up. I need to believe that all is not lost. And I do have a favor to ask of you. There is a lady out there, the fairest maiden of them all. I've only seen her once, true, but I know that she's the one for me. There's no doubt in my mind. Her presence by my side is all I dream about. Her beauty is all I can see. Please, I beg you, take the bouquet. When you meet her, the love of my life, she's bound to notice that it was made especially for her. Let her know that there's someone in this world who won't ever stop dreaming about her. Okay, I think she's going to call the cops on me, but all right. I don't know if I'm going to have enough money to, uh... I kind of want to go check out their random encounters, or I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. And I... I can't go back in. Oh, that would have been nice to know. Okay, so let's also check, I check my inventory. Uh, since we can't go back until I, I'm gonna use that. Okay, so we actually got our hero. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good. All right. That's the ultimate. Mastery's level 20, 10, and 20. Okay. All right. Okay, he's damaged by two. Ooh. We're gonna use one of these. Okay, two. Uh, only the first turn. One of the five is not horrible, I suppose, and then... Get damaged by two, I suppose, that... Uh, overall, that's not horrible. Alright, deck isn't looking too bad so far, um... Can I actually check the map, or no? I feel like this stone golem is gonna murder me, but uh Okay, let's get Can't go back to the village. Which is sad because I was hoping I could talk to blacksmiths again, but Okay. Do one hit for 15 21, it's gonna take one. Oh, that's fine.
Uh, that's gonna cost us nothing, so why not? We still have two. Yeah, let's reduce his armor a little bit. And then let's block. Got it, very nice. Five HP, but if I gain five HP, that kind of offsets it, really. I was hoping for a stun. But I get for, ooh, the quick attack would actually get you, probably. Got him. That equals out if we get the blood frenzy and I heal up after every battle. It's not bad. Okay. That might be Darkest Dungeon a little bit too with the torchlight. Oh, I didn't even see what that was. There's the buff. 35. Gonna take two though. I don't have any block anyway, so I mean let's also burn one more just in case. Uh, 25 to 35. Alright. I'm gonna draw a card because this is gonna be the end of the round anyway. Okay, best we could do, eh? Okay, Tainted Force. Oh. By two. Ooh. They're gonna go for a lot of damage, so that's not a horrible idea. Really, that guy just looks like he might do a lot of. Uh. We could do. Uh, I might just go Lotus still anyway. Up to. Uh. Let's go stun. Got two hits. Small strikes. Probably not a horrible idea. Again, I could block one at least. Uh, block one at least. Yikes, okay. Uh, attack for one, draw one card. I could, I really need to take you out. Uh, three. All right, fine. Do it. This could definitely help. Okay, nice. Let's just finish this off with a regular attack. Alright, level up. Okay, this turn increased the damage you deal by 50%. Gain 10 armor for the next 3 turns. Okay, so I could kind of really get that amped up with more. Ooh, piercing. I kind of like the all-in card, though. All right, we'll get a that. Oh, we get a new passive as well. Oh, I never really feel like I ever have an unused block, but 
Started at combat with six ultimate charges. Well, uh, that I feel like that's not bad. Okay, my health is also not great, but all right, we got a fortune to a uh, seller. Good day, stranger. Are you in need of some guidance? It's a question asked by an eerie yet elegant woman who's just appeared in front of your eyes. She's of indiscernible age, but looks strangely disturbing, standing peacefully within the weirdness. You can withdraw the course of your destiny and change the fate of your future fights. Come closer and see for yourself. Okay, well, let's check it out. I could draw one card. Honestly... Oh, I kind of wish I had more money. And 10 hit points for one energy right now, it's... Oh! Uh, nah, I'm... No, thank you. Good day to you, though. I feel like the stone golem's gonna crush me right now. Is that? That is not what I'm looking for, though. Blood altar. Uh, I'm gonna try to maybe run away from that right now. Okay, oh god, everything out here is bad. Ooh, there's somebody here. I'm gonna burn another one just in case. He will summon allies. Not bad. Okay, I need to stun you, probably. Well, let's gain some armor. Got three. Let's go for a stun. Just so you don't summon anybody. He's not gonna hit me for a ton, so. I'm not gonna be able to get. Uh. Alright, let's. I'll throw up one block. 25, lovely. This is gonna be a rough one. Okay. That would almost eliminate you, but that would pretty much... Oh, all in, though. My pay points there would pretty much... Oh, crush at least her. So, alright. Dangerous, I admit, but yeah, that didn't go too badly. Okay, ooh, geez. Not another blood frenzy. Go all in. 15 to 21. Then block to block that. I thought I had to get that all the way to the top. Oh, that might have been my mistake there. Life is life is not going great for us, uh, by any stretch of the words. He's just a lost soul, wandering between clouds of weirdness with a fading weird candle in his hand. His eyes light up when he sees you. You notice that he is not actually looking at you. He's looking at your candle. Thank gods. Mine's almost out. Do you have more? P 
please, if you don't help me, I'm done for. I have to find them. They're somewhere. I know it. I can feel it. And I need to be there. To be by their side. Now. I'm gonna regret this, but alright. Thank you. I promise to make I don't have much left, so. He continues with his search. Okay. It's sad that I cannot get back to base, it seems, so. I have one more candle left. A mother's altar. Alright, if I can take these guys. That might be a heal. Oh no, that looks like I'm gonna die horribly. Uh, might as well use the last one. I saw your damage is 70%. I feel like you're more of the danger though. Okay, that's not horrible. Life could be better. Okay, so you get two hits. Blood Frenzy! God, alright, I just- Oh god, this seems like a really horrible idea. Oh, shoot. Okay, so that redirects damage to you. Should at least block one of these. Okay, ow. Alright. It deals hit for 12 16. That's not gonna help me out. I might be on the way out here. Uh, this is problematic. Okay, oh god. Alright, uh. Okay, not bad. block. I think he has this anyway. Yeah. Within the darkness, you hear a familiar voice. Finally. Now we can start the cycle of proper rebirth. A different voice appears out of nowhere, and its owner is nowhere to be seen. Be gone. It is calm. Inhumanly calm. Can I invite you to the table? You see a hooded figure waiting for you by the table. Oh, is the it death? Oh, upon. good. The game in progress. As you take the free chair, you realize the creature has no face. A white skull leers from the shadows of the hood. A human skeleton draped with robes. I admit. I'm not used to showing up in person whenever people die. That's too much hassle with adjusting my presence to your current imaginations and whatnot. But let's say that your case is special. Yes. And yes to that other question, too. You're technically dead. But there are certain things that prevent you from, let's say, 
being properly gone. Recent events have consequences going beyond the intentions that sparked them. And now we're stuck in this unfortunate predicament because time, as you know it, is irreversibly corrupted. The past and the future are happening at the same time. All that you see is an echo of things that already happened or eventually will, presented without inherent sense, without purpose, without any logic. You see four figures on the board changing shapes into forms of beasts, and a moment later, they dissolve into dust. You must slay the Guardians, and keep slaying them until you reach the source conjuring them out of the weirdness. Their deaths will make you stronger. This will lead you to your destination. Alright, so we got two things. Alright, not bad. Not sure quite what that is, but maybe a couple of root zones we get. Our rewards unlocked. These cards are passable available over the course of your runs. Cosmetic items are in your wardrobe. Okay, by the seam press. Okay. There are two cards. The cost is reduced by one. Reduced energy cost of one card in hand by one. And you can chain that as well. Draw two cards, gain 30 armor this turn. Alright. Not bad. Oh, do I only get to choose? Okay, we just choose all. Alright. Initial impact. First hit in combat reduces target armor by amount of damage dealt to the end of combat. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. Prove that as well. Okay, these are the major objectives in the game. Things you need to accomplish in order to unlock the ending. Okay, so we gotta get five more villagers. Okay. Find the true boss fight. And we need to do all the uh, side quests for all the NPCs as well. Okay. We've discovered seven out of 32. More cards. Bestiary. Seeking Traveler. Regular NPCs. The Goat and... He discovered some items. Blessing for your next run. I feel like maybe you know, consumable. Wonder wealth isn't horrible. So max health is good. Two hundred wealth actually. Now we're back to the weird hunter though. What are the details on this? Okay, basic stuff. Did we get anything other unlocked? Just worried about cosmetics. Okay, so we'll get other stuff unlocked during that to run. All right. So we got a word candle healing mixture, 200 wealth. Can you see here? I wonder if he's in this one or not. No, no, no. Ah, he must be over here, the blacksmith. Okay. As you approach the blacksmith, you hear him angrily mumbling to his anvil. I swear on my name. One day he'll pay. Oh, it doesn't matter. 
Not at this point. Now I'm here, and happy. It's just an old habit of mine. His eyes say otherwise. Something is clearly on his mind. It really doesn't matter. What matters is that you've invited me to your village, and I can now hammer away in peace and safety. All right, interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about about an hour, and I think you get the gist of the game, and it's it's good. Oh yeah, it's quite good. I think once we go out of the village, we can't come back in. So yeah, it is a little bit challenging. Very interesting game. I do like the uh, difficulty, the card blending of cards, and RPG combat. It's quite good. I am. Definitely, please, would recommend this game. It is quite a bit. All right, but ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button. It does help out a lot. And we probably will see some more Titanic Rail at some point as I'm playing through here. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.